Yo, 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 uh, out here on this road, uh, doing rescue work. I think what it was damn near 30 cats this time, no dogs. Anyway, um, it is what it is. But tune in Sunday when I go live on Sunday. Some of y'all, uh, illiterate motherfuckers, I'm going to explain to y'all how an American bully can be made primarily of a Amstaff pit bull terrier type dog and actually not have to use a bunch of bulldogs to uh, make the breed. I'm also going to explain to you how genetics work, how pulling from traits of the American pit bull terrier, you can pull a larger bullier dog with some patience and some work. I'm gonna give you examples and I'm also going to pretty much go DEF CON uh, 5 <laughs> on, on all of these clowns who keep on trying to make up these lies and acting as if now all of a sudden it's old bulldog traits that were supposedly put into the breed 100 years ago that are coming out and making dogs that look like Brim and all these other dogs that are basically you can see it they're just english bulldog mixes and, and other type of dogs and then not, not only to mention that and excuse me for stuttering they're doing nothing but making excuses for the nonsense that they're doing right now by trying to throw other uh breeders under the bus from back in the day some of those breeders are from breeders from back in the day which is even stranger but anyway we're gonna talk about that we're gonna go in hard and we're gonna talk about why didn't this happen and why didn't that happen and you know, we'll get it going. But until next time, y'all, I'm about to go find me some damn lotion for my hands. I, I've been, I'm sanitizing too much. <laughs> much love. Peace.